Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a full case of 2018-19 Panini Select Basketball. Full case. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these lovely people right here getting into the action on a Wednesday night. 12 box. Pick your team one. Now, if you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you got that in a spot random. And there's Clay with that last spot mojo. So thanks everybody for getting in. Speaking of that spot random, I need to upload that spot random video. I could run that while I'm doing this break. Let's upload that. All right, there we go. All right. So that spot random video is uploading as we speak. Here is the full case. Good luck, boys and girls. There we go. Good luck. Now, I've been, I've been getting some feedback from everybody who's been watching the, the breaks all day from the other guys. Uh, the Luka Doncic autographs, hard to find. It's a good thing, though, I think. It maintains the value of Luka Doncic autographs and even probably boosts the value of, uh, of his parallels that may come out of there. So there you go. Good luck, everyone. A lot of basketball action happening. In fact, a lot of basketball action will be happening the next month or so, and then all of a sudden, basketball playoffs. We've got the Heat. Uh, we got the Hornets. Check that. The Hornets leading the Heat, 54-51. to 51. About seven minutes left in the third quarter. Uh, Timberwolves still ahead of the Pistons, 73-68. Nine minutes left in the third quarter. Looks like second halves are just starting for some of those games. Wizards are up 80-75 to 75 on the Dallas Mavericks in the third quarter. Just a couple minutes left. In the first half, Spurs leading the Hawks 50-48. to And almost at the end of the first half, Nets leading the Cavs 52-46. to First quarter just started. I think that's the ESPN game. First quarter just started. Uh, Sixers at Chicago. They're up 17-14 with six minutes left in the first quarter. That just started. Jazz Pelicans, Jazz at Pelicans just started too. They're leading 19-17 early in that game. All right. There's Dante DiVincenzo, 13 out of 99. Milwaukee Bucks. Hey, there's Deanne. There you go. Bucks on the board. We'll, we'll, do, a, we'll do a little recap in a separate video at the end of this too for these hour-long breaks. We got CJ McCollum for the Trailblazers. Um, Jared Demro with the Milwaukee Bucks leading things off. There's CJ McCollum. 249 for the Trailblazers. There's Kyle Kuzma. I think he's out tonight with a uh, ankle injury. Luka Doncic. Now, these ones are not numbered, so I'll generally be breezing past those, but since it's Luka Doncic. It'll probably sell for like a zillion dollars, right? That goes to Brandon and the Mavs. I don't know. Someone look it up. And the rest of these will just set aside. Our shipping team will sleeve and top load those before they go out. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by those. Markeith Morris selects swatches for the Wizards. That'll be for Brandon. Give me a second here. Yeah. Okay, I was just ill prepared for this break. I didn't even have my top loaders ready to go. All right, there's Zach Collins to 199. Josh Proust in the house. 
<laughs> saying, come on, Joe, zero hits for me. Are you rooting for zero hits? Ooh, nice. Joel Embiid, select swatches. Is he playing tonight? I've only been half paying attention to this game. Two out of ten. Uh, Deanne with the uh, Sixers. Nice. That card is gold. Gold, I tell you. All right, there's orange die cut Blake Griffin to 65. There you go. It is, it is pretty. That's right. These are good-looking cards. That's for sure. 26 out of 65 on that die cut. No hat mojo. I don't know. The, the hat was working well for, for Brandon last night. He won't admit it, though. Jeremy33, what's going on? All right, next box. <laughs> never, he says. Brandon says never. Chris Ensworth needs me to work his... Uh, Work my magic. He needs a low number Pelicans card. That's a reasonable request. I think I can do that. I've got financial interest in some of these games, ladies and gentlemen. I've got financial interest in the Miami Heat to beat the Hornets. They're only down by three with, with plenty of time left in the game. In fact... You really don't need to worry about these picks until uh, until the like um, three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Anyway, uh, I'm on the uh, Heat tonight. They're slight underdogs. Uh, Pistons, big favorites. Atlanta Hawks, underdogs. Brooklyn, heavy favorites. Utah, heavy favorites. I'm on the Sixers in this one. They should be able to take care of Cleveland pretty easily, right? Right? <laughs> Pal uh, Philadelphia 76ers minus 182. I got Sacramento as underdogs beating uh, the Celtics, who are on the second game of a back to back Cel uh, Kings trying to fight for a playoff spot. And put a little bit on my Lakers at plus 190. Who knows what's going to happen there? Who knows what's going on with the Lakers? Jersey and Auto, Anthony Simons. That'll go to Deanne and the Trailblazers. There you go. With some Portland there. I think they only just started introducing, or we're just seeing more of those purple parallels, which I think look really nice. There's Giannis Scope. These are not numbered, but of course they will ship. Most everything will ship except for VET, whatever the lowest number of VET common is, or lowest tier. 80 out of 99. Jeremy 33. Oh, you, you talked to LeBron? He's tanking? Jeremy 33 talked to LeBron James. And he says LeBron is tanking, Joe. Now, Lakers are done. <laughs> their, their, their playoff chances are pretty much, what, 1% now? There is a Daniel Gallinari Knicks edition, 93 out of 99. That goes to Josh Proust in the Knicks. Josh on the board. DeMar Rosen. To 299. And we got out of 25 die cut, Jaron Jackson Jr. Nice. That's a good looking one for Brandon, who got the Grizz in a spot random. Love those, uh, love those tie dyes. I think they look incredibly sharp. I like the set too, the spark set. We got a little lightning here in Los Angeles last night. We don't usually get a lot of lightning storms here. There's Bradley Beal, 52 out of 60. That'll be for Brandon and the Wizards. We got Thaddeus Young for the Pacers, die cut. Mo Bamba, tricolor. Remember, those are not numbered. That's why I'm breezing by those, but they will ship, obviously. Thaddeus Young for the Pacers. That goes to John Samuelson with that die cut. Rick Barker saying Knox not having a good rookie year. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these kids, you got to wait. They are kids. You got to give them, like, pretty much the length of a college career, right? You got to give them, you know, 
like two or three extra years to see what they really develop into. Remember when Jamal Murray came out, his first year wasn't very good. But then his second year was very good, and his rookie cards from that previous year really started to increase in value, which was great. That's a good question. Has LeBron ever been on a team that had a lottery pick? Probably not since his like rookie year. Or did they go to the playoffs his rookie year? Maybe never. <laughs> That's a good question. Does someone know that answer or can can look that up? I, I would – my guess would be maybe, but it had to be early in his career with the Cavs. Otherwise, probably not. Well, there's the Zebra right there, which is one per case. That's the thing. Yeah, but Josh Cruz saying Kevin Knox for the Knicks will, will, uh, will grow into a very good player because he's young. And like all these players, you know, back in the day, a lot of players had three or four years of college before they went out to the draft. So their impact in their rookie years were, were usually a little more immediate, you know. But with the, uh, you know, with the one and done and everything and so, so many younger players joining the league, You know, they, they're going to need, most of these guys are going to need like another two or three years before you can really tell what they're going to be. Um, there's Ana Musa and there's Buddy Heald out of 299. There's Jeff Teague to 60. So I'll, in a way, a lot of basketball has kind of turned into a little bit of like baseball where you're sort of prospecting. There's Omari Spellman right there, draft selections relic. For the Hawks. That'll be for Bruce. Bruce. Any guesses on this redemption? Oh, you... Mr. Milo is saying that... That the Zebras aren't guaranteed per case? No, I don't think they are. They were not in... They generally fall one per case... But they're not guaranteed one per case. Yeah, we we noticed that in football as well. 74 out of 99, Draymond die cut. There's Grayson Allen. And we've got uh, Zidrunas Ilgauskas for the Cavs. That'll be for Colton, who got the Cavs in a spot random. 180 out of 199 on the board. Ryan guessing Saquon Barkley on that. And the Zebra is Elia Kobu for the Suns. Ryan Sullivan with the Suns. There it is. There's the Zebra. There's ben, should we save one of those Ben Simmons? I know it's not his rookie year stuff, but since his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck, those tend to be okay. Jeremy33 is asking me in the chat, you guys like the Karate Kid headbands that has become an NBA? Has it? I'm only, I've only seen that uh, one guy. That one guy for the Sixers wearing that. Is it a trend? It's Joe Ingles. Joe Ingles, he go. Where does he go? Jazz. Oh my! Is he Jazz? He is Jazz. Could be Warriors. All right, we're gonna have to. Where's my check? I should have dropped a checklist. My first instinct is Jazz, but who knows? Chris Ensworth is saying jazz. Who's the white guy in the Warriors? Ingles, signature card number 30 is Utah Jazz. And that'll be for Megan and Utah. Utah, give me two.
All right, next box. I guess we'll just keep doing that side. Are, aren't the Bulls tanking, ladies and gentlemen? Why are they playing competitive basketball? It's tied at 30 with less than 10 seconds left in the first quarter. What's up with that? Brent saying headbands, crazy suits, 63 is a game. Brent misses the NBA of the 90s. You like the structure and team play back then. Brent's like, get off my lawn. I want to see, I want to see old, old Pistons basketball. I want to see 90 to 84 score lines. Let's do that. Slow play, work inside out in the paint. 90 to 84 scores. 87 to 85 kind of score lines. Just grind out the defense. I'm okay with the headbands. I'm okay with the crazy suits. There's Lonnie Walker, the fourth. Draft selections relic. Um, I'm okay with some threes. But I, you know, well, yeah, what, here's what I do miss about 90s basketball. Uh, there's a little, a little more physicality. I think that's what I definitely miss. So, like, you, you used to be able to, like, kind of, used to be a little more aggressive. I, I, I'm okay with threes. Yeah, I like all the threes. I think it's pretty exciting. I like the way NBA is now, but... You know, you saw that back in, uh, I, I did not like the 04 Pistons, right? Um, I think I think it was still Michael Jordan era when they, they got rid of hand checking, right? So that started opening up the game a lot more. And then from then, it's it's been like the NFL. You can't touch the QB and you can't touch anybody in the NBA now. It's at 299. Leagues want offense. And so from that era on, that has just keep opening the doors for the era of basketball that we have today. But 12 out of 65 on the DeMar DeRozan. But I think, I think it runs in cycles. I'm sure, we'll, I'm sure we'll cycle back to, you know, once there's a new generation of big men that come out of the draft and, and start winning basketball, that'll redefine the league again. Right now, everyone's trying to be like, oh, let's play small, let's get guards, let's get three-point shooters, let's be like the Warriors. You know, but eventually there'll be a new Shaquille O'Neal. Could that could be Zion? Could be a, a few new big men that may change the scope of the game again. And then it'll it'll then the balance of power will shift again. The way NBA playing will be the same. And then there'll be other other guys. Uh, the kids from this generation will be like, man, I miss that basketball from the uh, from the 2010s. A lot of threes. <laughs> Those were the days. There's LeBron James to 199. Save one of those Ben Simmons as well. All right, the redemption. Good luck, everybody, is... Bam, it's Steph Curry. He's been pretty common right here. Signatures, neon green prisms. Steph Curry for the Golden State Warriors. Mark Matheson with the Warriors. Nice. G S dub. There you go. Nice one for Golden State. Um, they are getting a uh, a nice stadium. They're so they're in Oakland now. They're building a nice new stadium across the bay. Should be ready by next season. be pretty incredible. Now, I feel like we haven't talked about this in a, in a minute or two. It's been kind of out of the media for a little while. Kevin Durant, does he stay? 
with the Warriors or does he walk? I feel like if he if he wins a championship, that's three in a row, right? I think. Or am I getting that wrong? Nobody's ever won four in a row. He he might want to do that with the Warriors. Tim Cole says he gone. Rick Barker says he gone as well. All right. All right, next box. We got, speaking of KD, his ears were burning. It's like he knew we were talking about him. And KD's like, what? KD's like, what? What are you saying? What are you, what are you saying about me? I don't want to talk about it, bro. He'd be like, bro, I ain't talking. I, I just want to play basketball. You know, don't ask me questions about my free agency. I want to play basketball. Four out of 60, Reggie Bullock. That'll be for, not the Lakers, but for the Pistons, John Mortolaro. There's J.J. Beret at a 65, jersey and autograph. There you go. Drift yelling at people aren't aren't going to get them to buy the buy it. <laughs> well, because why is it still in the teens? Because it's new release day. That's why I was trying to push it last night. There's Michael Porter Jr. die cut, twelve out of two forty nine. There's still a chance it could happen tonight. We got time on the schedule. Schedule in the chat. Deantes. She's saying he's going to stay until Seattle gets a team back. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Sorry, the Miritich was red. That's out of 199. It's kind of a higher number on that one, Chris Hensworth. Um, Brent saying, what are our thoughts on Encased? I think it's fantastic. Pre-order now on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's usually, that's usually a pretty popular one that we do. There's Porzingis, and there's Chris Middleton jersey, select swatches. Um, I like the graded cards inside there. I think it's a good idea. We didn't get too many cases. I think we're, I think we're really gunning for a lot of NT. But it'll sell. It'll be fine. It'll be, it's a solid break. I enjoy it. The graded cards are really the big draw there. There's the Devontae Graham tie-dye die cut. Nine out of twenty-five. Devonte Graham die cut that goes to uh, Chris Parent, who got randomized the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, who was I comparing Jordan to, Mr. Mike's daddy? Chris is saying team went to the playoffs. He averaged twenty-eight point two a game, close to thirty a game in the playoffs. Was I comparing him to somebody? They're not guaranteed one per case, John O, but they usually are one per case. I think generally if you don't see one in there, there'll be like another one of one or something like that that'll, that'll kind of replace that. But it's like it, it's like football. First year next to LeBron. Was I comparing LeBron to Jordan? I think Jordan's... I would, I would I would lean Jordan every time. I don't think that was a that was a debate, right? Oh, in the chat? We're talking about KD where where he's going to go. Patrick thing, Patrick Goodwin was saying KD will go to the Lakers. Sullivan was saying KD to go to Houston. He goes back to Texas. I see. Mm -hmm. 
There's Jacob Evans the third to 299. Oh, I must have missed that in the chat though. Robert Williams the third, Celtics, draft selections, relic for Matt Bodner in the Seas. Yeah, there's such different players too. I don't, I don't know why there's so many people who keep insisting on trying to kind of directly compare those two, but that doesn't really. They are different players. Yusuf Nurkic, white prism to 160 something. That's for the Trailblazers. That'll go to Deanne. 149. There's Luka Doncic. That's going to go for a million dollars. There he is again. I guess we should just straight up save all of the Luka Doncic, just right? Anything with his name on it seems to go and sell like hotcakes. So this is the refractor version of that one, which I'm sure will carry even more value than that base version. There it is, premier level on that. Nice, there you go, Brandon with the Mavs. And there's Andrew Wiggins die cut. Timberwolves, Jerry Bennington with the T-Wolves gets that die cut. Out of 249. Michael M. in the house says he has a Luka Doncic tattoo. Now he's worth $750,000. Yeah, probably. There's Dan Marley. Jersey and autograph. That'll be for the Suns, Ryan Sullivan. With old Dan Marley, 39 out of 65. And there's Jamal Mashburn, jersey and autograph. Out of 199, 162 out of 199 for Charlotte. That'll be for Chris Parent. Got that team in a randomizer. And gold, that card is gold! 10 out of 10, Jerome Robinson. Jeremy 33 and the clip show. Gold! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Jeremy 33 remembers that. Oh, that card is gold. What's that? No, Jeremy thirty three remembers that. I think he did. He did. He did hockey with Lars. Who remembers that? Is there anyone? No, there's there's got to be people in the room right now who remember that. Who remembers that reference? We've got we've got seventy people in the chat. You're saying T TJ remembers. TJ's here. All right, there's one. <laughs> no, if, if we if we collect some of the old school regulars, yeah, Megan remembers. See, there's two. So, so Megan and Bruce. I'm just including Bruce too. <laughs> They're a team. Okay, fine. Nick says you guys just count as one, Megan. <laughs> All right, so maybe not, maybe not everybody. Well, it's still you got to put them in a video. It's still funny to me. <laughs> Devonte Graham die cut. Is it? There's Jeremy. Thir Jeremy thirty three is wondering where volleyball Nancy is. She got into some breaks the other night. There's Devontae Graham die cut. Jeremy, do you do you remember that card is gold? I thought you I thought you would have. <laughs> Chris Dunn, Jersey. No, I'm bringing it back. Chris Dunn, Jersey for the Timberwolves. That'll be for Jerry Bennington. There's Nikola Vucevic, Scope. Those are not numbered, but they will ship. There's DeMar DeRozan, X-Factor jersey. See, Jeremy33 remembers that card is gold. No, it's not Austin Powers. 
It's a, uh, oh man, it's. How do you? How do we explain that? Yeah, you, you kind of had to be there. It's really not fun. Woodstock. Yeah, it's like Woodstock, man. You just had to be there, man. There's Andre Drummond to sixty. There's Gary Trent Jr. And for the Jazz, ooh, in-flight signatures, Donovan Mitchell. Megan with the Utah Jazz. Utah, give me two. Forty-nine out of ninety-nine. Uh, so Vasilis is saying that Luca. Yeah, the, I think these are out of without autos. There's Michael Porter Jr. Red. That's what I'm saying. The value, like, with the way some of these things are selling. Luca out of five. Vasilis is saying sold for six thousand dollars. The silver prisms, which we pulled one of, for over a hundred. Probably over 100 this week. It'll probably settle down into like the 70, 80 range. And at that point, you might as well just get it graded and it'll, that'll sell for over 100 again. There you go. TJ's got the history. Yeah, that's right, Ryan Sullivan. It's, it's, it is like Jim Rome. There's a lot, lot of inside jokes, a lot of references. We're like the... Like the Jim Rome, we're like the Family Guy of Breakers. A lot of cutaway. We don't have cutaways, but no cutaway gags. But we do have a lot of references. We'll have Terrence from Sierra Madre breaking with us at some point. Well, TJ, TJ's got the history, but I think the fun, the funniest part was. He do them for cards like out of nine ninety nine too. Oh, we are we do have plans to bring that back, Jay. Uh, we're in the middle of pick your team one, Vasilis. We are about it. one, two, three, four, five boxes away from completing this one. We got about another twenty five minutes to go. And then select random three right after that. Schedule's in the chat, folks. Uh, then select random four. Then a spot random. Then pick your team two. And then I don't think anything else is sold out after that. Are things selling? Maybe. I don't know. I'm sure someone will let me know. But we still have time to add a couple more breaks. Well, we can do two or three more full case breaks. We can add those to the schedule. Wait, let me save that. DeAndre Ayton, two. There's Marvin Bagley. Lightning Bolt, Sparks Relic uh, for Rich and the Kings. Nice. Let's sleeve up that DeAndre Ayton for the Sun. Sorry, Jaron Jackson. Marcus Smart to 149. Dante DiVincenzo, jersey and autograph. Jim Rome's still on like CBS radio, right? I think I, I catch him on uh, his TV broadcast every once in a while. That show is still going strong. I don't think he ever, I don't think his show ever really transitioned to TV very well. There's Chandler Hutchinson to 199 for the Bulls. But he still, I feel like he still crushes on radio. I've kind of out, I feel like I've outgrown his style a little bit, but, but man, there is a, there was a moment in time where, where he, he was the biggest thing in radio. No, no, Jim, not Lars, Jim Rome. He was the, Lars was the biggest thing in breaking for a little while. It was just, at a 249. Yeah, I mean, see, that's what Jas Jaspi Fest is going to be like that someday, Ryan Sullivan. It's going to be like a Jim Rome tour stop. It'll be like Fire Festival. Hopefully, it won't be like Fire Festival. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Although that would be a spectacle. To be remembered as, to be remembered as just having. Joe goes to 
<laughs> end up going to prison for running a scam festival. Oh, you you got you got ducats. Uh, nice, TJ. Good. You got you got ducats to uh, the Detroit one. Never been. Always wanted to go. And there's Paul George, Brooke Lopez. All right. So four box to go and pick your team one. Kendra's schedule is in the chat. We are in the middle of pick your team one. And uh, random team one and two, those videos are already up. Uh, yeah, at Jaspi Fest, I'll definitely be performing. Get a little live music going, you know. We can uh, get some live music going. We can get some Q and A's going. Get some get some athletes there. You know, we'll have like a little uh, trade night with all the people from Jaspies. Bring all the hits that you got from Jaspies. Trade trade buy sell or trade with your fellow uh, Jaspies community. Yeah, maybe some putt cut putt golf. Listen, if we're at the point where we're doing like where we're selling out arenas for tour stops for Jaspi Fest, we'll probably I'll probably have my natural grass miniature golf course built in Vegas somewhere. Kendra, no, I haven't seen any Met Mets Nets in Pick Your Team One. Jeremy thirty three. If you want to run a bingo night, you sure can. I don't know if I'm going to run that. There's Jason Tatum, die cut. That'll be for the Celtics. Oppo Joe Mojo for Matt Bodner. I think I uh, I think I was reading Brandon Luger saying that flawless baseball is down to four. So I confused. So I had baseball in my brain for a second. Got to refocus on basketball. Out of two ninety nine, JJ Barea. John Wall. And it's is this a Knox in the box? Kevin Knox, Fort Knox in the box. Josh Proust with the New York Knicks. Josh didn't want any hits, but he'll have to settle for this one. 55 out of 199, Josh Proust. Nice. Kyle Lowry. Die cut, red, Raptors, Clay, Franklin with the Raptors. Out of 175. We got Colin Sexton out of 199 for the Cavs. And we've got throwback memorabilia, Nicola Batum. Let's get Trailblazer. Eighteen out of. Oh, I don't remember any of these. Yeah, sorry, Josh. Josh Proust, like, come on, Joe. I said I wanted no hits. I know. I apologize. You're just gonna have to. You're gonna have to take it. You're gonna have to take that Kevin Knox on-card autograph. And we got Drew Holiday. Holiday. Select watches. It would be. It would be so nice. Chris Ensworth withdrew. It's a game more material on the back, too. Nice. All right. Three boxes to go. John Sammons is like, Joe, you're killing me, man. Joe Ingles is a jazz starter. And Nicola Batum was a star for the Blazer until he signed with the Hornets. That's how he got the big contract. That's right. Man. If only. I hear they have a lot of fun, Brandon. Um... Yes, we got an out of 60 or 65, like, copper X-Fractor. Luka Doncic, and then a couple silver parallels, I think. Or different, maybe a different tier, something like that.
No autos yet. I hear those are pretty difficult to hit. Luka Doncic autographs. Ooh, TJ's trying to decide. Should I wear my... Well, you got a vintage Jaspi tee, too. That, that's probably worth a lot now. Your vintage Jaspi's tee to Dodger Spring Training on Friday against KC. I think you'd get some looks. There might be some people who are like, TJ? TJ Tulsa? Be like, yeah. Yeah, that's me. There's Jaron Jackson Jr., 13 out of 99. Sparks Relic. That goes to the Grizzlies. Brandon Luger with the Grizz. Got him in a spot random. Jaspi shirt could be worth more than a Doncic. Chris Ensworth, I think you're right about that. One of those vintage ones. There's Joel MB die cut. For the Sixers, Deanne on, uh, on, with the Sixers, that is. 42 out of 175. Sixers are down by two points with 30 seconds left in the first half. There's Bruce Brown to 25. Jaron Jackson, Alex, was numbered to 13 out of 99. 3 out of 25 on the tie-dye. Bruce Brown for the Pistons. That'll go to John Mortolaro. There's Nikola Vucevic, die cut. Tie-dye die cut for the Orlando Magic. Who picked? Then that's Alex. That's you, Alex Carmichael. Alex Carmichael with the... Uh, got randomized the Orlando Magic in the spot random. Is that a jersey number? What? Yeah, there's the... We never hit the jersey number. <laughs> There you go. There's 9 out of 25. The Vucevic is for you, Alex. Good eye on the jersey number for the previous player there. There's Jacob Evans, the third to 199. We got 41 out of 99. Derek Rose. Every rose has its thorn. That goes to the Knicks. I remember Derek Rose on the Knicks. Josh Proust with the Knicks. Game worn material. There's Doncic, just a regular one. And we got Dave Cohen's. Old Celtic Dave Cohen. Matt Bodner with the C's. Eighty three out of one ninety nine on that one. Ooh, the ring ceremony. TJ, nice. There's Boogie Cousins. And two boxes to go. All right, next box. What is this, Sprite Limonade? Oh, this could be interesting. This sounds like a, sounds like a squirt. I'm a fan of the squirt. Soft drink. I may not I try not to drink soft so, like sodas too often, but when I do, you know, I'll often treat myself to a squirt. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Kyrie die cut and Hassan Whiteside to two ninety nine. Another Celtic for Matt Bodner. John Samson saying, "I used to make that Sprite lemonade mix at Seven Eleven in your Big Gulp." Yeah, John did it first, right? At two forty nine. Where's John's royalties? There's a Kobu, 88 out of 99 for the Suns. Draft Selections Relic. For Phoenix, that goes to Ryan Sullivan. It doesn't say whether it's from Draft Night, but I'm assuming it is. Uh, 
And we've got Avarda Sabonis. Nice on-card autograph for Deanne and the Trailblazers. Out of 199. <laughs> Jay's like, big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. It's from uh, Dumb and Dumber. One, I think. And Donovan Mitchell, Zebra. Wait, is that our second one or our first one? I think these second? Two Zebes? Double Zeb, ladies and gentlemen. Utah Jazz, Megan with this one. Nice. Double Zeb. Steph Curry. Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Bragging rights. There's Kawhi die cut. <laughs> Saquon Barkley. Rashad Penny. Evan Ingram from last year. 62 at 65. Kike Kuti. That's got to happen someday. Someday they're going to mix up a redemption. It'll be like for prison basketball, but it'll be in prison football. Something like that. Okay. It's Kevin Huter. Rookie signatures, tie-dye prisms. So that would be Bruce. With the Atlanta Hawks getting the, the, getting the Grateful Dead edition of Kevin Huter. There you go. Nice. Who's been playing some, some good basketball? Are the Hawks playing right now? They are. They are down by three points with a minute left in the third quarter. Spurs are leading the Hawks 77-74. Uh, one game is getting close to finishing. There's a minute 12 left in D.C. Wizards with a comfortable 127-117 to lead on the Dallas Mavericks. I think I had financial interest in the uh, Wizards, right? Oh, I didn't even pick anybody in that game. All right, never mind. Anyway, Wizards are going to win. Mavs not very good. And they've been playing some great basketball at home. Mavs not, not very good at on the road. That team's going to be very interesting with, with a healthy Kristaps Porzingis. Uh, oh, the Heat game is even closer to finishing. 24.4 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Heat just called a full timeout. They're leading by four points. 88-84 in Charlotte. I think I... Do I have financial interest in the Heat? I made an investment on them. Yes, I did. Made an investment on them. Took a position on the Heat. They're up by four. Just need them to hang on. Here we go. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Wow, nice Luka Doncic right here. That, that'll probably go for a million dollars. There's Kemba. Kemba, don't screw it up for my, my, my bet. <laughs> don't do it, Kemba. Nice Luka Doncic, though. Courtside level. Wait, what are the... <laughs> There's so many things to memorize, folks. I can't remember, remember everything. I think the court side is the shortest. Yeah, is the, like the, I guess, the quote-unquote best tier. Right there, so that Luka Doncic may go for over $100. Who knows? Nice. That's for Brandon and the Mavs. 
Uh, well, generally, there seems to be one zebra. They're not guaranteed, but generally you can see one zebra per case. We got double zebs, NYK. We got double zebs in this case. Eighty-seven out of ninety-nine. J.R. Smith relic calves. Colton with the calves. There's Landry Shamit, jersey. Sharpshooter Landry Shamit, playing well for the Clippers. That goes to uh, Deanne with the Sixers. Still Sixers edition in this one. There's Steph Curry to 199 for the Golden State Warriors. We got Jalen Brown die cut blue. Say one of these Trey Youngs as well for Bruce and the Hawks. I think his value is starting to creep up really nicely as well. I mean, it really isn't about Luka Don. I'm no, I know he by, far and away sells so much better than than some of the other NBA rookies, but you'd be surprised at how how a lot of the other rookies sell as well. Big difference from uh, from what you what some most of you may be used to in football. And then our last one, our last hit is Mo Bamba, Orlando Magic. Goes to Alex Carmichael who got the Magic in a spot random. Nice. So there you go, seventy out of one ninety nine. Mo Bamba on card autograph coming your way. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Rudy Gay parallel to two ninety nine. Closes things out. That goes to the Spurs. Brandon got the Spurs in his spot random. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team one in the books. Thank you very much. More in the store. Check it out before we run out of time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.